Dean Webb, fourth year head coach for Ohio Volleyball, announced two additions to his coaching staff. The first one being Rodney Santos, and the second one being the director of volleyball operations, Laura Santos. And I'm visiting with Laura right now. And Laura, obviously, the last names are you're, they're Santos. So that means that uh, you and Rodney are married. So how'd you guys meet first things first? Well, actually, it's, a, it's actually a pretty cool story, I think. Um, we were at Bowling Green State University working both as the assistant coaches. And we met, and you know, we both loved volleyball. And I ended up um, leaving for a job at Oregon State University after a year. Followed me, proposed, married, all that. Um, and now we're here, and we're really excited, which is, for me, I'm just really thankful that I get to be here and I get to work on staff. Um, and Dean wants us both on staff, which is awesome. So, so I know your background with volleyball, and though you are the Dovo, I mean, obviously, you're mm -hmm. going to still present some knowledge, I would assume, during practice and whatnot. So, what, what are your strengths? I would say as a, as a dobo, but also a, kind of a coach as well. I think for me, I mean, I, I can't talk to the players in practice. It's a different role than what I've had before previously, but I think just where I've been and what I've done. So I played at the University of Illinois at a really high level. I played professionally overseas um, in Switzerland. And I think having me on staff and knowing that this program is trying to reach even bigger and better things than just the MAC conference tournament, like going to the NCAAs, that I've been there and I've done that. So I can really relate with the girls in terms of that path and what it takes really to try to reach that level. And what was it like for you and Ronnie both to, to come on in and, and meet the girls and see their excitement about, you know, two new faces are here because mm -hmm. I've been with them for a couple of years. They're, they're fun to be around. And yeah. I think you're going to really like it. So what, what was that first interaction like with the girls? They were awesome, actually. I mean, it was I was pretty impressed with um, our first interaction. I mean, we they asked us a lot of questions. One of them, particularly Jamie Ash, she's like, okay, what are you going to do? How are you going to make me a MAC championship this year? And that's a pretty big question to say right off the bat. So for me, I just love the competitiveness. I love just the history of this program, that they've been really successful and that the kids are still eager to, to do that every single day. Um, so it's just a really exciting time to be here. May I ask what May I ask what your answer was to Jamie? Is, is that a cool if I ask you? <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> it was directed at Rodney, and he said, basically, he's like, we will do everything that we can, you know, to c try to make that happen, and we'll work hard every day to make sure that it does. No, I know Rodney said that. I mean, you guys have known Dean in the past too, yep. but I, mean, I got his perspective. What, what about yours? What I mean, what are you excited about to learn w when it comes to learning from Dean and also Maggie and, and the mm -hmm. girls as well? What, what are you most excited about? You know, being here. I think what Dean brings is he's just super organized and structured and having that day in day, day, day in and day out is really good for consistency and it helps breed trust with players, coaching staff and he's just been coaching for a long time and has been really successful in his career and for me working with Maggie um, she actually remembers playing we played against each other in club so it's it's cool to kind of have the Chicago hometown girl that we know each other and um, it's been great working with her, and I, I'm just really excited for the future and for the fall. I think we're going to do some really good things. So between you and Maggie, who won the most club matches? Do you guys ever <laughs> go back and forth a little bit? No, or, no, no, no. no. It just, you got to pass that now? or <laughs> Nah. nah uh, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, it was a while ago. So, um, But she's great. It's just been nice, especially for her. She's been here for so long with, with Dean. You know, for the two of us to come in, we're still trying to figure out how do they run things, how mm -hmm. do they do things, and instead of always asking Dean all the time, Maggie's a really good person that knows Dean really, really well, especially since she played for him. So having that perspective as well too, this is helping this transition be even easier. And has it been easy? Yeah, it's been easy. I know, I know the car drive, you made Rondi drive from Oregon all the way <laughs> I in, know. so. Yeah, it's been good, and he was awesome doing that. I was lucky enough to fly and get here easily with a flight but um, it's been a really good transition and just exciting to actually see us compete against some other teams coming up here soon. Well Laura thank you so much for sitting down with me as always I yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.